Hey guys, Mark here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the backbone bar paracord bracelet. This is basically a modification of the backbone bar, which is a keychain that was presented by JD Lenzen on his YouTube channel. Now, the bracelet itself does have a backbone look to it, hence the name, and I really like the look. But what I don't like about this bracelet is that it is a bit annoying to make. The concept is quite simple. It is made using slip knots which you place onto the core, one from the left, one from the right, and that makes your bracelet. But tightening up your slip knots is not as easy as you might think. So here is my tutorial on how to do it. With that said, let's start. So I have folded and attached one end of the buckle on one end and I have moved the other end a bit further down where I want my other buckle to be. And I'm going to start with my right cord, make a loop, then feed a bite through this loop to make my first slip knot. We now need to tighten up this slip knot which I do by pulling on the bite and on the bottom loop until I move my slip knot as close to the bracelet as I can. Then I will feed the core of the bracelet through this slip knot and then tighten it up. We're now going to do a slip knot to the left side which is done exactly the same way. We make a loop. We then feed a bite through this loop. And then we tighten up this slip knot. Again, I pull on the top of the slip knot, which is the bite, and on the bottom, which is the loop. This enables me to tighten up this slip knot as close to the bracelet as I can. Then simply place your slip knot over the core and tighten up. And that's basically what you do to form this bracelet. Again, make a loop on the right. Feed the bite through it. Then tighten up your slip knot as close to the bracelet as you can. Feed your core through the slip knot and then tighten it up. And again, continue on the left side, forming a slip knot. Tightening it up next to the bracelet. Then feed your core through the slip knot and tighten up. You can already see a backbone look forming. And always try to tighten up your slip knots as close to the bracelet as you can. and then feed the end through the slip knot and tighten up. I'm going to finish the rest of the bracelet off camera and I'm going to show you how it looks like when it's done. So I've reached the other side of this bracelet and you can see that it really does have a quite a unique look. All you need to do at the top is cut the cords and your bracelet is good to go. So guys, thank you for joining me in this tutorial, see you next time.